Joy Lab. Hi, I'm Tanya. Making your cookie dough into logs and then putting it in the refrigerator or the freezer is a tried and true technique. This week, I read in the newspaper, yes, I do still read the newspaper. What else am I supposed to do while I eat my breakfast? I read an article describing a new way to do chocolate chip cookies where you do make them in a log and cook them in muffin tins. I just had to try that. And since I like to do freezer meals, I thought I'd try with the freezer meal technique to see how it worked out. Today, our recipe is caramel chocolate chunk cookies. This recipe caught my attention because, quite frankly, it's a bit odd. Chocolate chip cookies usually have two kinds of sugar in them, white sugar and brown sugar. This one had powdered sugar. I've never done a recipe for chocolate chip cookies with powdered sugar before. This recipe had no leavening, no baking soda, no baking powder, and there are no eggs. The recipe calls for the cookies to be put in a log and refrigerated for two hours. So let's do that together here. Plastic wrap, I despise plastic wrap. It always gets wrinkled. I never get to do it right, but it says so. That's what I will use. The recipe asks for the log to be six inches long because I want my sizing to be correct and accurate for the cooking time. I actually brought out a ruler. Let's see if we can make this cookie dough log six inches long. The recipe called for chocolate chunks, either large chips or take a, a candy bar and chop it up. I didn't do either of that. I used milk chocolate chocolate chips, just the normal kind that you can buy on the shelf. The recipe also said to knead the dough together to make sure everything gets mixed in and held together. It's an odd, it's, see, it's not, it's greasy definitely, but I could play with this like Play-Doh almost. <laughs> okay, sorry. Distraction. Don't play with your food. Eh, close enough. I'll wrap that with... Wrap it in the plastic wrap and there you have about a six inch log. The recipe calls for it to be refrigerated two hours. Let's see what happens if we don't refrigerate for two hours. This recipe is also different in that to get the caramel-ish is in the title, caramel chocolate chunk cookies. You're supposed to take butter and press it in, spread it in a muffin tin 
and then bake your cookie in the muffin tin. I'm a big fan of using muffin tins for freezer meals, so I was very excited to try this out. Since my goal is to adapt recipes for freezer meals so that we have no mess and no stress at dinner time, we're going to try this cookie recipe three different ways. Caramel chocolate chunk cookies. Here's the log that I just made, room temperature. Here's the one that's in the fridge, just like they said in the recipe books. And here is one that was overnight in the freezer. Nice and hard. I'm going to cook them this way. Room temperature, fridge, like they, the recipe says, and straight from the freezer. And we'll see how these three cookies compare and see if it works to do this cookie straight from frozen. Need to butter the muffin tins. And apparently the butter is what makes the caramelishness of the cookie as it cooks. Of the cookie as it cooks. So I'm guessing be generous with the butter. You see the holes are here. We've got freezer, fridge, and room temperature. But gotta wash my hands. I'm going to open and cut the refrigerator dough first. That's the way the recipe said to do it. This is supposed to make 12 half inch discs and each disc goes in a muffin cup. If I were doing cinnamon rolls, I'd use my pastry cutter in half, in half, in half again. So that's four sections and each section would be three cookies. For some reason, it says to use a chef's knife in the recipe itself. I'll play along. So three, 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 and three. That doesn't look very even. Oh well. <laughs> well, they aren't beautiful discs. I think the chocolate chips Maybe if I had a really sharp chef's knife. Well, I'm gonna call this a disc. This is from the refrigerator and I'm putting it in. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> you know what? Since I cut three, I'm gonna bake three. So there. They aren't coming out like discs, which is what the recipe called them. The chocolate chips fought against my knife too much. I'll put this back in the fridge. Wash my... No, I'm gonna go ahead and butter the other ones before washing my hands. Put this in the fridge, wash my hands. I'll do the freezer one next. My goal is to hope and see if I can bake this straight from the freezer. There we go, that's a nice disc. Mm. Not quite.
quite disc like. With freezer meals, for this kind of technique, can we just slice, slice, slice? If we only have three people who want to eat a cookie each and then put the rest in the freezer, that's what we're going to find out. We'll put this back in the freezer and then we'll do our, our room temperature disc. I'm going to be able to slice the discs with my pastry cutter, so I'll do a little measurement. Three, six, nine, twelve. Let's make three out of here. One. Nice disc. Two. Another nice disc. And three. Look at that beautiful disc. This was not refrigerated. This row this up. This guy was not refrigerated. Don't tell. Refrigerated, freeze from the freezer, and at room temperature. This one sliced the easiest for the disc, but this is not cold, and the recipe says to bake from cold. This is freezing. The recipe doesn't say to do that. Let's put it in for 20 minutes and see what happens. They really don't look much different. This is the room temperature, the refrigerator, and the freezer. The recipe says they are ready when the edges are brown and the inside is still slightly soft. They say to let it rest in the pan for three minutes and then pop them out and eat them. Alexa, set timer for two and a half minutes. Two minutes and 30 seconds, starting now. By the way, during this busy time of year, I can remind you to do something later so you don't forget. Just say, remind me. Uh, no thank you. The cookies have been in the pan for three minutes resting. They look identical. I think you can go from room temperature, from the refrigerator, or directly from frozen. I'll have to taste test to make sure. Looking at them right now, I think these are perfect bases for ice cream sundaes. Just a little scoop of vanilla ice cream, a drizzle of chocolate and caramel on top. Oh, lovely, wonderful. Let's see how easy these pop out. Beautiful, beautiful. Hmm, the fridge one is harder to come out. I didn't expect that. There we go, this one's good. But this cookie, look at how crumbly it is. That's not good. Let's try the room temperature. This one looks like it will come out easily also. Freezer meals, we want less stress and less mess when it's time to eat. Freezing a log of cookie dough and cooking it in this way came out just the same as the other two and sounds like the answer. You can make a whole bunch of these logs of cookie dough, line them up in your freezer, and then even though slicing did not create a smooth disc, it was all crumbly, the cookie came out just the same as the other ones. So yes, you can cook straight from freezing. 
and most important, oh, look at how lovely that is. Look at how nicely browned. Oh, gorgeous. Beautiful. All right, now I have to taste test. Mmm. The butter. Oh my, I can taste the caramel that the recipe is talking about. There's no caramel in this, but cooking in that muffin tin with butter makes a crispy, almost shortbread edge with a caramel flavor. Delicious. Okay, now I have to check the fridge one. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely a recipe to keep. My name is Tanya. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Joy Lab. Learning done right. Learn more with Joy Lab. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Visit us at www.joylab.biz. Thank you.